There's now a new medical clinic, and it's called uh, Ambrosia, named after the food of the Greek gods who achieved immortality. All right? All right, so what's their goal? Why am I telling you about these guys? Their goal is to measure the effect of young plasma, the blood of human youth, ages 16 to 25, on older people. Listen to what I just said, right? That they can take blood from young people and somehow insert it into older people, and that's going to make the older people more healthy. They say that the blood of the young can, in effect, make you younger. If true, this is huge, right? So is it? Does it work? million questions. I know you have them. I have them, too. That's why we've assigned this story to our own intrepid NRS correspondent, Michelle Greenstein, who's good enough to join us now to try and make sense of this thing. Okay, what is it? Does it work? Right. You know the drill. What are we talking about here? So the founder and CEO of Ambrosia was inspired by this research at Stanford University led by Tony Wiss Carre. Uh -huh. This is where they found that the blood of young mice actually reverse some cognitive and neurological impairments seen in old ones. So they would sutter two mice together, and the old mice that were joined to the new ones saw increased neuroplasticity, increased ability to memorize things. They actually saw changes in gene activity. Mm -hmm. What makes them think they actually can reverse the aging process? Right, so they actually, you mean in humans? Right. So they actually did the same thing in humans. They took umbilical cord plasma and plasma from human youth and injected it into mice as well. But wait and a minute, saw, wait, 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 hold on, yeah. time out. There's Kinda a difference, crazy. isn't there a difference between the, the, the genome of a mouse and a human being? So they say that they saw similarities by taking the blood of humans and injecting into mice and seeing the same effects that they saw when they took youth blood from mice, mm. they say that there are so many similarities. Here's what Louis Carre had to say about his findings. Mm. This suggests there are factors in the blood of young organisms, including humans, that can rejuvenate an old brain and make it work more like a younger one. It, it, did I read something about this having possibly an effect on Alzheimer's, that it can actually so it affects, re reverse that? Right, so it affects the hippocampus, which is the area that starts to degenerate when people are afflicted with Alzheimer's. I actually asked Tony Wiskere if that was a fair representation of his findings. He said yes, that's very reasonable. But what Ambrosia is doing is they're saying it's not just about memory, it's about the anti-aging process as a whole. They're claiming that they can reverse that totally. Here's what Wiskere had to say about Ambrosia. This is what he told Science Magazine. Mm -hmm. There's just no clinical evidence that the treatment will be beneficial, and you're basically abusing people's trust and the public excitement around this. Is there public excitement? Because I would think I mean, that a of lot course. of people... No, no, I mean, yeah. no, of course there's public excitement, but I'm asking, a lot of people would wonder if uh, this is a little bit scary that we're getting into a realm here that might be a little maybe... Uh, uh, questionable? Right. Well, the main question now is, is it true? Like, can we really reverse the aging process? Because if true, I mean, who wouldn't want to get their hands on that? Ambrosia is causing, is ca uh, charging $8,000 to do it, though. Um, but I spoke to the founder and CEO of Ambrosia. Here's what he had to say to me today. Uh, I think we all are, are familiar with uh, the hallmarks of aging. You know, we, it's a little more difficult to uh, have energy, to to um, have athletic abilities uh, to remember things. Our skin uh, starts to uh, de deteriorate in quality. So all of these uh, facets of aging seem to respond uh, or seem to improve uh, with plasma therapy. Many patients have reported um, in our clinical trial and after treatment, um, uh, which has been uh, performed in an outpatient setting, uh, increased physical abilities and stamina. So patients who enjoy uh, lifting weights or biking have found that they're able to uh, do so uh, more and, and longer. All right, so bottom line, what percentage of the experts are saying this stuff works? Most say that there's no clinical evidence, but of course, Jesse uh, says that it does. He does have a buck to gain, though, so we'll have to see. He's got a dog in the fight. A huge Good one. job as usual, Michelle. Thanks so much. Hey. Hey YouTube, thanks for checking out our channel. We hope you enjoyed the video. We have tons of content for you just like this. For more of RT America's one-of-a-kind news and analysis, be sure to subscribe and never stop questioning more.